up guys, Fojo here, and today we have another luck video, and this one is going to be over Fey, the Last Protector. Located up in Shattered Mountain, Fey is Angry Earth, and drops multiple decent drops, including the Chef's Pants, the Earthbinder Ward, and Fey's Covenant, as well as the possibility to drop legendary materials and items. Now, during this video, I did wear full void bent with pristine pearls in every slot, as well as three pieces of jewelry all being pristine pearls, with a luck perk on each piece of jewelry, as well as three bags with luck on each of those as well. We killed Fey over a hundred times to get these results, and now Fey is a level 64, he is a high level mob, so make sure you have good gear to come up here and fight him with. He has multiple moves that are different than normal mobs. Uh, he has a jumping move where he will leap in the air and come back down with a poison pool, as well as cross his swords at some point and charge through you. If you block both of these, they will do little to no damage, so make sure to throw those blocks and some dodges as well. Now this area does have a lot of extra mobs around him, and so if you stand on this side where I am and you pull off the archer and the soldier, it will be a lot easier to kill Faye. So in between kills, just make sure to kill these as well. You can pull them with an axe or a bow or whatever you want to do but it makes killing him a lot easier and now most of the time I was here I was solo I did have a friend towards the end of it we tested out a few more things at the end but I'll bring that up later but real quick if you guys enjoy these videos hit that like button hit the subscribe button it really helps me out a ton I can't thank you guys enough drop a comment about what mob you would like to see next what kind of luck you would like to see tested and we'll get to it as soon as possible. While I was here, I did kill Faye over 100 times, and over those 100 kills, we did receive around 19 drops. Now this test was purely a PvP versus non-PvP test, and so the test was between a full set of gear with pearls on everything, as well as the same gear, but with PvP turned on. And so during this test, we were running about 36.8% luck, including all of our gear, uh, as well as a few trophies in our houses. And so during the non-PVP, we got two Phase Covenant, three Chef Pants, two Earthbinder Ward, two Legendary Materials, and one Legendary Weapon. The Legendary Weapon was actually not one of Phase Covenants or Earthbinder Wards. It was a random Dryad Sword that rolled Legendary, so that was kind of cool. And then on the PvP side, we did get one Phase Covenant, three Chef Pants, three Earthbinder Wards, and three Legendary Materials. So in the end, we ended up rolling even as far as drops go. And now Faye doesn't drop a ton, so the drop chances seem to be about 1 in 10 kills, you'll get one of his main drops. Most of the drops that Faye does drop are worth going for and finding. And so the Earthbinder Ward is a great tank hammer, Faye's Covenant is a full dex rapier, and the Chef Pants still are worth money on most servers. So after I finished running this test, I had a buddy come out, and we killed Faye for a while, and I wanted to see if him being there impacted whether or not I was getting any more drops as well. It did seem to slow down. I want to test that further, but in the amount of time he was there, I received no drops compared to probably what I would have gotten one or two. It's not conclusive, but it is something I would like to look into and test out a little further. I have had multiple people comment and ask how much drop rates and drop chances are affected by people being there. I'd like to test that further. It'd be a little more of an intense test, but I would like to do it. So that may be a future video. But I will say Faye is a great mob to kill. Drops are well worth coming here for, but you may have to sit here for a while to get one. And on the luck versus PvP versus non-PvP with a full void bank set and uh, pearls, I would say it's not going to change your drop chances that much, so PvP probably isn't that necessary while farming mobs. I would like to do a chess video with this exact same test and see if it affects it a lot more, or if it doesn't, but thank you guys so much for being here and listening to me talk a little bit. If you could like and subscribe, it would help me out immensely, as well as leave a comment about what you would like to see, what mobs you would like to see killed, or if there's anything specific you're wondering about related to luck. Once again, thank you guys for being here. We'll have more videos out soon. I hope to see you there.